Say what you want said. Do what you want done. Glorify your name, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody said? Amen. 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 Turn to Jeremiah chapter 13, please. We'll start there. Jeremiah chapter 13. Praise God. And we're going to read verse 15. Hear ye and give ear. Be not proud. Pride and proud, same thing, right? For the Lord hath spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God. Before he cause darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while you look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. Verse 17. But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride. And mine eye shall weep sore and run down with tears. Because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Yes. Um, <laughs> captive by pride. Yeah. It touched my heart because verse 17 says, the Lord is speaking to you, his soul will weep in secret places. That's how much the Lord cares for you. Amen. Is that amazing or what? Yeah. That the God of the universe would weep because you are out of victory. You are out of faith. You are in the cell and don't even realize. Wow. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's weeping for you today. So much so, his eye will weep sore and run down with tears. <laughs> the reason being because his people are carried away captive. <clears throat> well, when you put that in perspective as to what the Lord Jesus, the price he paid for you to be free, then you see why it pains him so much when you stay in darkness. Sin, defeat. Amen. Then all heaven has been granted to me. Well, it happens because verse 15 says, Hear and give ear. Quit being proud. Mm -hmm. For God is speaking. Amen. Amen. So, well, it's going to get better, so hang on. Praise God. Pride is a devil. Plain and simple. Pride is a devil. And John 10, 10 says, the devil comes for one reason. Actually, three. So pride comes in your life to steal, kill, and to destroy your victory. We are faith people. We walk by faith. We're not supposed to walk by sight or feeling. We're supposed to walk by faith. But when we begin to walk by sight, we allow pride to take away the authority of the Word of God. I'm going to show you these things as we go to them. Some of these things you didn't have any idea was pride. But the root of it is pride. Pride goes unchecked many times in your life because of its origin. I'm talking about you don't recognize it in your life. Because it is, uh, it comes from within. It's in your thought line, initially. 
Look in Mark chapter 7. So you just think it's you. You just think it's um, it. the way you grew up. You just think it's your personality. <laughs> you hear people say, well, it's just me. Yeah. It's my, here we go, this is psych, psych, psychological terms that I read in Christian circles. It's my temperament. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the devil the devil. Yeah. You can explain it away all you want. You can make fancy terms for it. All kinds of great phrases and reasons and this and that about it. But the devil the devil. He tries to come dressed in many different ways, but we recognize him. Mark chapter 7. I heard somebody say we got it. Is that I got it, Pastor. There we go. We'll move back. Verse 20. The people answered and said, Thou hast the devil who goes about to kill them. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and you all marvel. Moses therefore gave you circumcision. I think I'm on the wrong chapter here. I mean, hey, man, you got it. I mean, but I don't mean to be a John, but I am a John. But I need, I need to be a Mark. Okay, okay, Mark. Given. No, that's not what I really have a new translation. It's hidden in there somewhere. Mark 7. New version. Everybody there? Yeah. The pastor will be there shortly. Verse 20. I need some help up here, folks. And he said, That which cometh out of a man, that defiles a man. That sounds better. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile me. <coughs> well, pride is named in me. Lascivious. Praise the Lord. Has to do with uh, sexual <coughs> lewdness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, I'm not going to have pride in my life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, the first thing we got to do is recognize it. If you're going to change, you got to recognize the problem. You can't change it if you don't know it's there. So we must allow the convicting power of the Holy Ghost to take the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, and operate on it. Cut it out from the demon. Hallelujah. Are you willing? Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It's something we have to work at individually. It's not uh, not necessarily easy. But there's great victory involved here and as you get rid of it. Booty mouth. Boot out pride. I think we should define it. I know you know what it is, but let's look at it from a few different perspectives. The Blue Letter Bible says it's insolence, rudeness, presumptuousness, mm. presumptuousness, you're taking away the authority of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. You presume it to be okay. You presume it to be in faith. You presume it to be look right, smell right, feel right, so you do it. Mm -hmm. Arrogance. Pride is arrogance and exaltation. The dictionary defines it as being a high opinion of one's own dignity, importance, merit, or superiority. Whether it's being in the mind or displaying something. 
the, slate, the state of feeling or being proud. That's what the dictionary is going for. Now, Dake defines it in Romans chapter 1 and verse 30. You don't have to turn there. Just list proud as one of the sins. To indulge, it actually uses the word proud here. To indulge in pride or self gratulation. To be exalted, elated, mm -hmm. glory in self, mm -hmm. display or strut self before others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Self-gratulation. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm the one, right? I can do it today. <laughs> to be exalted, Glory in self, display or strut self before others. Now I want you to turn to Isaiah chapter 3. I'm not picking on you ladies with this scripture, but it's a good one to use just to give you an example of how pride. Well, we got some fast scripture finders here. I'm going to be in the right one this time, ladies. Isaiah chapter 3. And verse 16, I'll read it first from the uh, King James, and I'm going to read it out of the Amplified as well. And it says, Moreover, the Lord saith, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, Walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. What are they doing? Well, they are dressed for attention. You've got it. They want you to notice them. Let me read it out of the Amplified. Isaiah 3, verse 16 says, Moreover, the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched necks and with undisciplined, flirtatious, and alluring eyes, tripping along with mincing and affected gait, and making a tinkling noise with the anklets on their feet. Anybody got the New International Version in here? Anybody got that version? NIV? Who? Can you read it? Yeah. I think yours is the New American Standard, isn't it? Yeah. No, I need to be in the National Book. Nobody got it? Well, look it up in the NIV when you get home. It just says the same thing, but it just makes it a little bit plainer. Very interesting here that it says, remember the, the, the definition here is self gratulation, glorying in self display or strutting self before others. And here we see that in Isaiah 3 and 16. Hallelujah. He goes on to say it's an undue sense of superiority, unnatural self-esteem, arrogance, and wishing all men to receive their sayings as oracles. Well, it reminds me a lot of Facebook. People writing on there all kinds of things that they want you to take as the gospel. I'm going to tell you, God hates pride. Look in Proverbs chapter 6. I'm not just being strong in my words. I'm telling you what the Bible says. Proverbs chapter 6. <coughs> Verse 17. Let's start with 16. These six things does the Lord hate. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. Verse 17. A proud look. There it is right there. A proud look. The Lord hates it. Interesting. Why does he hate it? Because he hates sin. And that is sin. Look in Proverbs 21. And we're going to go through some scriptures today, so you can turn with me or you can just jot them down or you can 
Get my blog online and I'll have it on there tomorrow. It's up to you. Proverbs 21 and verse 4. And high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Can't get any plainer than that. Pride is sin. Y'all not shutting me down. <laughs> it gets better. 